three times three? Let me just answer that question for you. Nine. So, anyway guys, this is the official iOS 9 release by Apple, which has been released a few days ago, and it looks better than ever. So anyways, let's get started on new features that they have. Let's start with Siri. Hey Siri, how's it going? I'm pretty good, Martin. Note that they also changed the design of Siri, making it much better than the wave with the waves. Anyway, how's it going today? I'm not sure I understand. You shouldn't understand, but it's okay. Can you just please now give me the results for the Chelsea versus Arsenal game? Chelsea is leading Arsenal 1 to 0 in the 63rd minute in the London derby. <laughs> Good enough. So that's Siri. It has been updated. Here's the calculator app. There's not that much of a difference except for the font. Now, one thing you should notice is the font is now San Francisco, not the Helvetica new font that used to be there. We Another new feature uh, is that you could now have what they call Wi-Fi Assist. And what Wi-Fi Assist means is when Wi-Fi connectivity is poor, it would automatically take mobile data will automatically take over so you won't have to deal with lagging or any slow internet or anything like that. Now, with battery, you have a low power mode which temporarily reduces power consumption until you can fully recharge your iPhone. Simply just, you could just tap that and background app refresh, automatic downloads and some visual effects are disabled. And it can also tell what apps are using the, consuming the most power. And you could also notice that the battery icon has changed from green to yellow. But when you disable it, it goes back to black unless you're in the home screen, it goes back to white. Now, for security reasons, they've now added a six digit, a choice for six digit passcodes, as you can see. Not four, but six. So I'm just gonna put my passcode here. I would do touch ID, but why? So, we got the Compass app, not much has changed. I know what that is. Oh, that's changing the, yeah. So that's the Compass app. Now, with the uh, keyboard, it now is finally in lowercase. So it actually makes sense when you have capitals. Finally makes sense, doesn't it? Now, for listening, if you want to if you want to listen to something faster, let's just, I'm just going to get my headphones and plug it in. Now, since I plugged in the earphones, I plug, remove it and it's gone. So let's plug it in again. There you go. You have, and now you have music. Oh, I've unplugged it last time. Now, you have a music icon here, you just swipe it up, you put in your code, sorry, finally, and it will automatically open Apple Music for you, and then you can choose the song you want. So that's pretty good, reminds me of Android it's somehow. It would have a small icon depicting the Music Player app you've most recently used. So it'll probably be Spotify if you use Spotify a lot. Now, with settings, you also can search. You can also search easily now. So I could search up usage and it'll get you everything that has to do with usage. So storage in iCloud, current period, etc. I could even put in general for that matter.
you could also do split view but on the other hand I don't have an iPad Air so that doesn't exactly work now for for maps you can easily get new things such new so I'm just going to search up nearest train stations right here and it will automatically pinpoint all it automatically pinpointed four nearest train stations to my area so we got Pimble, Gordon, Taramara and Warawi so if I want to get more detail on one I just have to click it and then I could click on the website and even better if you're finished with the website and you want to go back to the maps simply just press back to maps and you're back anyway so with quick when you want to do recent apps you just press twice as always but now on the other hand it's changed a little it's changed a lot actually so now you got the uh, cabinet effect just like Android it's I do I have noticed it looks a lot like Android not sure if they copied off it or anything but it looks a lot but the domino effect looks really cool when you swipe it up and down. And if you want to close an app, you just swipe it up. And if you want to close three apps at a time, you can. And they don't have to be at the same time. So, you now got, we now got some, a spotlight thing called app suggestions or something like that so you can either swipe left or you could swipe down and I'm gonna search up Android Marshmallow why isn't it working? then I'll just type it there we got Android M. Which is now called Marshmallow. Wiki some people don't like to update Wikipedia. And it also clearly says Wikipedia above, so keep that in mind. So that is Apple's quick thing. And it'll also give you web videos on Android M. It even gives iOS 9 versus Android M developer preview, Android 6.0 Marshmallow, everything you have to know. And you can also search App Store and Maps as well. So I could get, search up, so in that matter, I could just search up one infinite loop. And then you get, it, get all the information about it here. And I could also search maps. Oh. Even if you misspell one word, it's still going to you could easily get to up still get the right place at Cupertino. Well, what else do we have? And that's what other updates do we have for iOS 9? Well, on Spotlight Search, I could easily call another contact. So I could just go on Spotlight and type in Call Mokush, I mean Martin. Well, that didn't work. Try again. Call Martin. Well, that didn't work either. What a shame. Anyway, so... 
I could just use Siri then. Hey Siri, call Martin. Calling Martin. And then I could swipe. And as you can see, there's not that much of a difference between calling between here and my Z3. So that's basically it. That's that is the new iOS 9 update. That's not did not that much difference with here notifications or quick settings, except for the font, of course. So that's basically it. If you have any questions or comments about it, leave it below. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in my next video. I'm Martin Noble, signing off. But we have to sign off traditionally, so we don't finish unless we literally power off the device. So thanks for watching guys. Please, please subscribe, comment and rate and see you guys in my next video.